when you buy outside of U.S. caught fish, what you're doing is inadvertently supporting foreign fishing. You're buying seafood from countries that don't have any management. Or it's wide open, or there's very little management, or there's bribes, or there's... We call it IUU fishing. It's illegal, unregulated, and unreported. And that's not to say as a blanket statement that all foreign fish is like that. But there are many hidden costs of the cheap seafood that you're buying when you buy from overseas. Whatever you want to call it is very little management. Let's not even go into like how much fish they're pulling out. Dock to Dish LA works directly with the local sustainable fishermen in the Santa Barbara area, and we bring the fish directly from the fishermen to the top chefs in LA. She lets the fishermen pretty much decide what they're gonna catch, and then the restaurant, they'll figure out a way to give them to people that they will enjoy. It's impossible to predict what's coming through the door. A fisherman of mine will head out for one type of fish, say yellowtail or white sea bass, and come back in with halibut instead, and that's just the fishermen adapting to the conditions and what's readily available in our own backyards. It really allows you to sort of spread the, the fishing out over a number of different species instead of just hammering the same species in the same place all the time. I can tell any of my participating fishermen that whatever they find when they go fishing is something that I have a market for now. All of the boats that we work with are owner-operated vessels, which essentially means that the person fishing the resource is the person who owns the vessel and who's on the vessel on a constant basis. The boat we were just on this morning, um, Eric built pretty much entirely by himself. And I think that's a pretty common thing for, for fishermen to want to have, have their hands into every aspect of their, of their profession or their hobby. Our boat is named the Unacceptable Risk. So I've known Shen and Wayman for a really long time. In fact, when they were 13 years old, they were volunteers in the uh, sea urchin lab that I was managing at UCSB. And what you do is you hook, you put a loop on each So Eric Hodge has really taken game. Shen and Wayman under his wing and educated them about sustainable fishing, about the regulations and rules. I just graduated from Berkeley, and uh, I just graduated from UCLA. My degree was in mechanical engineering. Yeah, same thing. We were both mechanical engineering students. I I'm eight minutes older than Shen. We started fishing when we were about uh, probably like six years old. Our dad actually is also really loves fishing from when he was a child. Instead of the industrialized seafood system, which is really 10 to 15 people touching your fish from the fishermen all the way to the market or to the restaurant or to your plate, I wanted to be that one source. I would say that industrial fishing in general, even if you want to have sustainability in mind, your decisions end up being mostly financially driven um, versus what's, what's actually good for, for the ocean or for your fellow fishermen, stuff like that. Connection to the resource and the management and stewardship of that resource is lacking. How many pounds we got? 25, 30? There's so many steps between the person catching Absolutely. the seafood Absolutely. to the person eating the seafood that inevitably it's going to be misrepresented at some point. In Southern California, there was 52% of the seafood that you would got in restaurants or fish market was misplaced. Dock to dish for me is like, there's so many benefits, right? The fish is so fresh, it's ridiculous. Like this fish is moving around and is cooler alive right now. Inevitably, after every single dock to dish delivery, the fishermen are asking me what the chefs thought how they served it, what they did with the fish. They want to see pictures, they want to see photos, they want to meet the chef, they want to take the chef fishing. Like this is, a, this is an integration of a community that has long been separated and we're bringing it all back together. I think, I think supporting our local American fishermen is absolutely the most important, most sustainable move you can make.